Stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Excuse me. Here. We all pitched in and we want you to have this. You're a hero. You know that? McDonough is gone. Turns out he was a sn uh, synth. Maybe I'll run for the mayor one day. You know, I was once king of entire country. <laughs> all women. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire commonwealth. We... Sure, let's take a look. Good, good. Vadim. See this bar? I killed a man. Sure. I've got a few minutes to browse. Good. Good. Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Excuse me. What? I'm busy. Not your enemy. They are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry, we'll find you. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. So there's that vault. It's uh, number 81. Did you work with Earl Sterling at all? Oh, yeah, Earl. Ugh. I mean, I know I shouldn't speak ill of the missing, but that guy needed to get out more. You'd think a bartender would be eh, smooth, you know? Charming? Not Earl. He tried so hard, too. Way too hard. The real sad thing? He thought it was his looks. Kept talking about getting a new face over at the mega surgery. Wouldn't have helped. Anyway, I can take your order whenever. Just browsing for now. Later then. Beat it. Yeah?
These appear worthless. Surely we can leave that behind. You'll be pleased to hear that Mr. Sullivan made a full recovery. Now, what can we do for you today? Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. 
Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? The last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest... Here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. 